What's going on guys? My name is Adil Constantine and it's a deal like making a deal and today I'm going to show you how to do this typing effect in Premiere. Now this is going to be just a quick and dirty way of how to do it. Um, it just works for me. I can just throw it in just to add something to the video. Whether you're going to be using it in the intro title or just, you know, doing a typing effect on a computer. So let's jump into Premiere and show you how to do that. So right here we have, you know, just a blank project. All what I had to do is just I threw in a background and hunt on here, something to type on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the type tool and we'll go ahead and just put in our cursor on there. And then now what we can do in the effect control, if we scroll all the way down, then we'll see the text. And then what's cool about Premiere, there's actually a built-in typewriter font. So if you just go to the source text and type in typewriter, then you'll find these right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bold one. Uh, we don't need to mess with that. And um, I'll, change the size let's do just 150 something bigger so you can see and then what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna type in uh i'm gonna use the example of subscribe so we're just gonna go ahead and type in s and then we'll toggle the animation now once we toggle this then it's kind of like recording what you're typing so what we'll do is since we already have the s um, I'm going to move the keyframe down and now what I usually do is I try to use this right here the keyframe diamond and then I'll try to move the cursor to the end of that diamond uh, and then that's when I'll go in and put in the next letter. So we'll do U and then move this down and we'll do B. And so now we got to subscribe and if you're going to use multiple words every space also takes a keyframe so if we're going to do subscribe um to me so we'll we'll move this we'll move the uh thing one keyframe and then we'll do space and then move this again And there we go. Now basically what we did, we, we recorded the whole typing, each letter with a keyframe. Now that we have the visual effect, we need to add audio effect. And for that, you can either record your um, keystrokes on your keyboard and basically use that audio clip to match it up to this, or you can actually just go to Epidemic Sounds or one of those uh, websites and then just search for the uh, keyboard typing sound effect and download that. And that's what I did. I just went ahead and downloaded this keyboard typing one from Epidemic Sounds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna move this a little bit this way just so we're not starting from s so that way it looks like we're actually typing and let's see how far this is subscribe to me let's go back where it actually stopped at me right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring this over and then i'm gonna cut the audio clip right when it gets to me once it gets to the E of me, because that's when, when the typing stops. And you don't actually have to match the keystrokes with the audio, but if you wanna be a perfectionist, go for it. But I can just show you the quick and dirty way that it actually still works. So now let's uh, give it a try. And there you have it, guys. Just a quick and dirty way to do the typing effect in Premiere, like you saw, easy keyframe, give it a letter, keyframe, give it a letter, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to flick that bell to get notified every time I put out a new video. Peace.